Okay, tonight's e -com is coming from uh, Fiona Blackstar. And today I got back into my Ty Lopez training courses of social media, traveling. Um, I think it was traveling CEO. I have to get back in there and read some. But I'm recapping my 67 steps and I ordered his new book, which is really cool, and um, got in on a deal that um, uh, allows me to get back into being an affiliate um, using uh, the cash flow 2.0. That's really exciting. So I'm digging into all this info. And tonight I saw a bonus PDF um, on niches. And my niche is coffee. Um, tonight, tonight's video is sponsored by Valentis Slim Roast. This is my very favorite uh, Slim Roast coffee. This one is called Slim, Slim Roast. Italian blend and I use it in the morning as soon as I wake up in the morning boom I have my slim roast coffee and I'm die hard so I always go with a three pack and when I started I used um, Valentis AM PM to detox and then I switched my loyalty program to the slim roast and I'm a big person on energy this is so good at three in the afternoon when your energy is low and you're feeling like, oh God, how many more hours for this day? You take one of these packages and you can go and you feel great and it's refreshing, especially in the summer. And then my new favorite, but I don't know, I still am figuring it out. This one really works with the weight loss. Um, Optimum, I wasn't so pleased with, but it's really good for older people for the health benefits. Um, but this, this tastes pretty good. Optimum doesn't taste so good. This Thermal Roast, it tastes delicious. And I use it as an evening coffee. Um, I'll have it uh, after dinner. Um, people say to have it before you eat. Um, that's where... If you're a big eater, I'm not a big eater, so I don't eat much. So I don't really benefit from uh, trim like some people would. This is trim. This is what you would use if you're a person who likes desserts and heavier meals. You would take this before your heavier meal or if you're going to splurge on something. But it's not a really big thing for me because I'm not a big eater. The problem with me is breads and flour and sugar and stuff don't care for me too much and um i can barely eat anything about those things and uh i gain weight um and i'm not sure maybe we, this gets my metabolism going it i don't know it gets the energy pumping and um thermogenesis is what it creates and it gets my body in a good happy vibrating energy that starts burning calories so i'm not sure the scientific stuff about it all i just know this works for me and i love it i think it's fantastic and i turned to this originally back in the day because i was feeling tired and achy and when i started taking this and i can't say this will work for other people but it took my achiness away and it gave me pep and uh the, and lucky i didn't i i really was discouraged and all the weight loss stuff out there the only thing that worked for me for a long time was atkins and now the protein just doesn't seem to do it for me anymore so um when i did this i i thought no the energy okay that's what i'm after when my friend was telling me about it. I wasn't even looking for anything actually at the time. I was trying to buy property. And um, at the bottom of the email that I was corresponding with this person, it said the um, best coffee on the planet. And I'm like, what's the best coffee on the planet? And he started telling me about um, this coffee and how he feels good. And I'm like, I need to feel good. That's what I'm looking for. And then I discovered that after a month of taking it, boom, the weight loss kicked in. And all of a sudden it's like, I'm losing weight like crazy. And so 
what I find is if I tone my eating down and do this, and I eat properly, which you're supposed to do anyways, um, and I drink a lot of water, that I can get my weight down. Once my weight's down, this is really great for my energy and maintaining weight loss, and it allows me to splurge once in a while. So anyways, getting away from the coffee, and that is my niche, coffee, and uh, I get into um, motivation and uh, excitement, <laughs> creating a stir of excitement. I love quantum physics and I'm really into marketing. I think business marketing, online stuff, um, technology is really cool. So, um, and I need to start working on my look. And as we will see in this right up here, the top niche selections are <laughs> all these things I'm talking about. So uh, I'll just read this and we'll go through it and I'll add in some beautiful fun pictures and maybe videos and stuff just to create more interesting stir. But I thought this was a really good article because I've been posting a lot of stuff to help people um, get an online presence and find the things that don't cost too much just to get you up and going and um, just let's get some ideas happening. So the top niche selection, one of the first steps in e-commerce is picking a niche. If you're stuck deciding which niche to choose or you want help finding more ideas, here are several suggestions. And it starts off with health, skin, and teeth. This is one of the biggest niches in the world because so many people will always have the desire to improve their appearance. While this niche, niche is competitive, that's not a bad thing. It's simply means um, more potential customers. And when they say competitive, I don't really think it's competitive because everybody has a different personality. And whatever you bring to the table, your personality, your stories, um, someone's going to be attracted to your energy. Um, everyone has a different vibe. And like quantum physics, you're going to resonate with somebody who is like your personality. And that's that's... That's all you got to worry about, just being yourself and the people will come. And the next niche is jewelry and watches. Similar to beauty, this one is about appearance. Um, one of the great things about this niche is there are also sub-niches. For example, you can niche down and sell smart uh, wooden or luxury watches or crystal silver or handmade jewelry and that is the beauty about jewelry and a lot of handmade artesian stuff is really really cool and one of a kind and um, everyone likes to have their own um, you know their own personality so jewelry is accessorizing and there's always um, people always want to just go out and get something just to feel good so there's definitely something there and if you can create your own theme and look and uh it's art <laughs> you know it like a website make it all cool and uh really make your pictures look amazing um uh, people who have a natural look could use driftwood and stones and water elements and all that kind of stuff to make it interesting or if you got a tech technology thing going then you can pump that theme with those new smart uh, watches and different things to go along with your uh, smartphones and that. There, there is so much potential out there. Electronics. <laughs> Lately I've been into radios. Um, electronics are always going to, um, there's always a new gadget out there that people just want to have something new and interesting. And it doesn't matter what the price range is, you can uh, choose something in each category and level um, to appeal to somebody. Electronics, you don't have to be an Apple or some, or you don't have to be Apple or Samsung to sell electronics. Many options are available from neck massagers to Wi-Fi extenders to electronic accessories like mouse pads. And the other thing is, if you buy things on Amazon or go to AliExpress, um, if you're buying something for yourself, you can um, become an affiliate to these things and talk about it. Like my microphone, for example, this is a Yeti. Um, if I wanted to, I could 
probably find a, a link on Amazon and um, talk about my Yeti and put a link in there just like I could put it in the bottom of my video um, on all the different things that I use um, if I have a camera or a, a phone cover case um, anything anything I'm talking about I can put a link in my blog in my video to send people to it to go look at it um, fitness fitness is huge lately I'm into Betty Rocker I love her workout she's so amazing and I have to get my butt moving and there's a few others that I like too and what is nice is if you're into coffee you can um, utilize other people's programs and put them on your website as an affiliate or just to do it out of your heart because you love them so much and it goes hand in hand because you're um, reciprocating uh, good energy um, so fitness similar to beauty fitness is another insanely popular niche with huge demand the best time to sell these products is in January but the right store can generate a lot of sales all year long and that's true um, when you're looking at this time of year if you start um, I would say even in March or April wedding seasons coming up and you can put a fitness niche or jewelry or any of those things in with weddings and even photography except for not now I'm busy um, so uh, weddings um, graduation all those things can go with fitness um, just health and beauty in general they all go hand in hand and home and garden here we go again you can have wedding themes going on in the home and garden department and gardening can be done in so many ways I mean if you're gardening um, if you're an avid gardener you can turn this into cooking and everything um, you could probably sign up with a company that sells seeds and different uh, little tools and pots and fertilizer um miracle grow or something like that there's uh, so many things that you can write up about how you garden and your tips and throw in links to different programs um lots of what do you call it uh e ecology stuff um cult what do they call that um not horticulture but um, where you're making the land um, work with with everything going on there permaculture that's what it is <laughs> my cat is really wanting to be with me right now and I just can't believe he's left me alone the whole night and now that I'm doing this he just wants my attention and I think it has to do with me speaking as soon as he hears me talking I think he, he thinks I'm talking to him um, so gardening is one of the biggest hobbies in the world with the, with this niche you'll never run out of products to sell. It helps if you know someone who gardens so you can get some real feedback about your products. And I mean, that could go into t tobacco and even the hot um, <laughs> topic of uh, marijuana and um, hemp. Um, y you could get into all kinds of different things and I'm not into that stuff, but many people are. Um, then we have uh, kids and games and you know what's really popular is making your own games and making your own tarot cards um, there are lots of places online where you can actually go and make your own games and card decks and um, if you could come up with your own designs that is really a good way to go because having your own product that's um, unique and nobody else has it that's uh, it's always good to have one product that's uh, just um, your own thing. I don't like the distraction, but I guess he's testing me. I'll take this as the universe is testing me to see if I can handle anything <laughs> that comes in my way while I'm interacting. And I had lots of practice at my job with that. Um, so anyways, having a unique product that's custom that nobody um, 
there's no competition that way. Not that you really have to worry about it. Um, being an affiliate marker, marketer and selling stuff that's already out there is a really great way to get into sales. And then when you start getting good and you know how to sell stuff, then, um, it, and this is all good practice for videos and everything, but when you get good at it, then you're prepared. So when you do have your own product, after you've generated some money and it's freed up your time, then you can really present yourself well out in the market on something that you want to sell that's that's just exclusively yours. Um, then we have food delivery. And um, the other day I saw this guy. He was really awesome. Well, he's one of my favorites, Hogan. Um, he's on the internet and he he's a parallax web designer and he um he uses he uses themify and he is one of the best guys out there for learning how to web design with themify and he put together a really awesome food delivery website that he worked um in collaboration with this um custom food ordering um app um you can look him up um Hogan, I can't remember his name. I'll put it in the link. But um, that, I can't, especially with what's going on and people needing to be apart or you have to be outside, food delivery is the one way to keep restaurants going. And if you can um, design something that delivers food or um, like Ty Lopez had put together uh, meat delivery, ordering you can order your groceries and stuff online through him um but food delivery and making it easier for restaurants and stuff that's a really awesome niche to get into um so it says oh it talks about his farmer's cart here um and you can be an affiliate for that um selling meat e even though i'm canadian i could still s uh promote that to uh, all my american friends so, uh, Farmer's Cart was already doing well in 2019, but things picked up a lot during 2020. This is a great niche to be in, and you can even start locally by providing delivery services for restaurants in your city. So, not even that. Um, you could probably even do your own gardening and sell seeds and stuff, because as we know, the seeds aren't the same out there as they used to be. And then on time, online retail, um, yeah, online retail is really big right now. People are shopping online um, because it's just easier and um, with everything going on, nobody really wants to go out as much as they used to. Amazon's probably doing amazing. Retail stores are struggling right now and many are going bankrupt. This is a huge opportunity for e-commerce because these stores need help selling their products online. Providing your services to business owners will be a great option for you for the next one to five years minimum. And I totally see that too. Everything's changing between now and uh, 2027 and um, it's going to really change in the next two years. Um, so if you have really good skills, you could help these mom and pop businesses and your local people by um, offering your online skills, even if it's running social sites, um, keeping their um, keeping their Facebook and Instagram <coughs> and other things going, um, running for them, you could offer a service like that. Um, just because what gets people remembered is to keep seeing them over and over and over and over again. And like Frank Kern has said, um, it's not that you have to have a, a new thing because like online, it's been the same thing for a long time. You need a page, email address, and now you can social message. But what you want to keep doing is changing up your look. Um, you branding is good for getting the name and a logo remembered, but you want to keep changing up your look because there's so many personalities out there and you do want to specialize to a certain group of people, but depending what it is, um, like food, everybody eats. 
um, it, it would just change with spices, I would think. But basic, if you're if you have a basic product, um, you basically just want to change up the look uh, to attract all the different types of people. So that concludes tonight's little. Uh, PDF on niches and getting the brain and creative juices going and there's a lot that a person can do and once you get um, going in what you want to want to do there's so many different ways to get it out there um, Pinterest is really fun and really a great way to pin some of your stuff and then learning some of the ways to recreate your links and redirects and short link shares and um you can go so many so many ways with that um but mostly uh if you love doing pictures and making short films um you can even even this film i'm doing right now is a little bit too long um most people just like to watch something short. They want to get through a bunch of stuff in their short period of free time. So shorter films are actually better. Unless you... It's really good for the cold market. Just to get it out there fast and create a stir. And then once you get a person interested in what you're doing. Your warm market. They're more receptive. They want to listen because they start to grow to like you. And then if you have um, specific things that you want to get more detailed length with, then that's where your bigger videos are. I'm just playing with a bunch of stuff. Mostly for me, I'm building my confidence and um, trying to, to uh, get in the habit of doing this every day. Anyways, I wish you a good night and thank you for listening and subscribing and um, always being supporting, sending me um, little compliments and stuff that means a lot thank you have a good night